August 11, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 534 of Special Putin's Operations. Big picture. Ukraine needs to buy Gripen 2 from Sweden, tonight, and start training tomorrow, no questions asked. Defenders of Ukraine have been recorded fighting in Robotine recently. Dnieper line. 20 different towns were shelled along this front. No reports from either side about troop engagements here, since the landing at Kozachi Lahiri. Zaporizhia front. Ukraine have been fighting in Robotine recently, however the Kremlin has possibly 20,000 troops in the vicinity making things difficult. Ukraine appears to have liberated the grocery store in Eurozhain, again wisely reducing the supplies available to the Mobix. Shelling was heavy on this line. East Front, Donetsk. Kremlin attacks reported in Marienka and Avdiivka, both were repulsed. Shelling was unusually quiet in this area. Bakhmut area. The Kremlin made multiple attacks, both north and south of the city. It appears that more Kremlin mercenaries have been shipped to the front along the H-20. Shelling was heavy from this area to the northern border. Oskil border front. Two more attacks by Kremlin troops attempted west of Svartov, both were repelled. No attacks recorded around Kupiansk. Ukraine has enacted forced evacuation of villages between the front and the Oskil River, and around the Oskil, due to the risks presented by the invader army. Northern border. Shelling was heavy in Kharkiv Arblast, especially north of the city. Shelling was also reported in Chernihiv, just east of Belarus' border with Ukraine. Black Sea. Multiple drones were engaged in an attack on Sevastopol, however Kremlin sources say that all the drones were destroyed before they reached targets. The Kremlin has 10 combat ships in the Black Sea, none of them are missile carriers. The Ukrainian Navy has noted a distinct change in sailing patterns, which are clearly being routed to avoid Ukrainian reach. Ukraine World Related Two more recruiting offices were attacked in the Russian Federation, as well as a police station. Sad news in Moscow, someone was smoking around the beer factory. The beer. Ukraine needs to buy gripens, on payment, cash on delivery, on credit, for trade. They must get more planes with more options. Alternatively, print stickers for control labels, get a code monkey to change the GUI language, and have the manuals translated once, and printed at a cost of $2 per manual. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.